Hello again and welcome to another episode of Sports Access. I'm your host, Ryan Grounds, here with all the information for Texas Wesleyan Sports. This last week in sports here at Texas Wesleyan has brought victory and defeat. Both the men's and women's basketball teams have completed their seasons. The softball team has won three of their last six games, and as the spring break hits, not all the athletes will be able to take a road trip to the beach. All this and more today on Sports Access. Well, that's it for the basketball season. Both the men's and women's seasons are over. They ended on March 2nd in Waxahachie, Texas at the RRAC Championship. Game one out of the two games played at the tournament was a victory for the Lady Rams. They advanced to the semifinal round after defeating Langston University 53-49 the night before. Cooper was the sole Lady Ram to score in the double digits on the night. Cooper came up with 12 points and 9 boards. The game stayed within single digits for the whole game. The Lady Rams held their target lead of the night in the opening minutes of the first half. After Sims came away with a steal, she then passed the ball to Simpson, who then laid up and gave Texas Wesleyan a 9-3 advantage. Simpson had 8 points and 4 rebounds before an injury forced her to leave the game. Langston came back hard in the second half. They hit back-to-back -back buckets at the start of the second half. The Lady Rams responded and went on a 5-0 run to tie the game at 36. Turner hit two free throws from under three minutes to play to help give the Lady Rams a 50-47 lead. McCray made a layup to put the score to 52-49 with only seconds left remaining on the clock. McCray cracked up nine points and eight rebounds in the victory. Sadly, after that impressive game, the Rams dropped their next game that put them out of the tournament. The Rams also dropped the second game of the tournament, but it was the game one that was really impressive. Kyle Preston scored a career high of 31 points. Texas Wesleyan defeated Our Lady of the Lake University 101-92, in the quarterfinals round of the Red River Athletic Conference Men's Basketball Tournament. Texas Wesson held an eight-point lead in the first half at 24-16, but then the Saints responded by forcing a 17-3 run to pull ahead before the half. After a tight finish to the first half, the Saints held 1% advantage over the Rams at 41-40 going into halftime. Dallas Jones hit a three-pointer that gave the Rams the first lead of the second half. Jones finished the night with 21 points and four rebounds. Jay scored a double digits and was just two rebounds shy of notching up a double-double with a career high of 16 points and eight rebounds. Also, Oscar Griffin came away with 12 points. This game marked the end of an incredible season for the Rams. Now we look at the wonderful world of softball. The Lady Rams seem to be on a pretty nice roll for the season. They won three games against Texas College this last week and then dropped three of their next games. It was the game against Texas College on February the 28th that was impressive, however. The Lady Rams ran into a different, tougher Texas College squad the first inning with a stout pitcher and a better defensive effort from the infield. The Lady Rams took the lead with a bases loaded hit, put the play at home in which Bailey Spears got in for a 1-0 lead. Kendall Kaiser hit a two RBI single. Sarah Sandercock picked up an RBI on a bunt to take a 4-0 lead after only two innings. Texas Wesleyan doubled the lead in the bottom of the third. Megan Alvarez hit an RBI single to the shortstop. Kaiser smashed a home run to make it an 8-0 ball game. Callie Jester found a hole in the left field line to get another run of 9-0 lead. 
the Lady Rams extended the lead with four runs in the fourth inning. Westland made the most of a few Texas college errors, and Stokes and Kaiser picked up an RBI to extend the lead to 13-0. This score of 13-0 was good enough for a mercy rule win. Danielle Najira earned the win with five innings on runs, allowing only three hits, one walks, and had four strikeouts. Now we look to the upcoming week for sports. The men's golf team is going to participate in the UST Texas Intercollegiate Tournament. It will take place at Hawks Creek Golf Course in West Worth Village. The Rams will have 36 holes to show what they are made of. The tournament takes place on March the 12th and begins at 9 a.m. The women's golf team will also play over the break. They have a tournament on the March 11th and 12th in Pottsboro, Texas. They will be playing 36 holes at the Tanglewood Resort for the Texoma Chevy Dealers Lions Invitational. They play again on the 18th and 19th in the Midwestern States Invitational at Wichita Falls Country Club. Another 36 holes down, and this team is moving strong. The baseball team also plays several times over the break and starts with a four road game series. The Rams play on the 8th and the 9th against Jarvis College. Next, they play UT Victoria on March the 11th. Next, they play Northwood on the 14th on the road. Then the Rams come home on the 15th, and the game starts at 2 p.m. The next game is on the 16th and will take place at the ballpark in Arlington. The big game will start at 1 p.m., so don't be late. The Rams finish the week off with a game on the 19th against Tarleton University here at home at 3 p.m. The track and field team also has a tournament on the 16th. The Tulsa Duels will take place in Tulsa, Oklahoma. Well, that wraps up this episode of Sports Access. Now remember to be safe over spring break and have fun. I'm your host, Ryan Grounds, and I'll see you next time here at Texas Wesleyan.